everybody welcome back to my channel i wanted to film you know something different for today's video but i'm sorry it's gonna be another vlog <laughs> i just like have other content that i want to film but like i don't have the stuff to film it yet so i like it's just it's gotta be a vlog and i know you guys like them so hopefully it's fine but hello it's wednesday it's hump day how are y'all doing today I just put in a huge Zara order because there's spring stuff. Okay, I'm like, I was telling myself no more shopping, no more shopping, no. Then Zara put out their spring collection and it was like, poof, I had to. Also, it's kind of like with birthday money and I got a really nice tax return, so it's okay. And I'm gonna do a big haul and I'm excited. I haven't ordered like new stuff from Zara in a hot minute. So it should be coming next week. And hopefully I'll be putting the haul live on my birthday so y'all can watch it and celebrate with me. My birthday with clothes, right? <laughs> um, I was gonna work out today, but honestly, not feeling it. I already put makeup on, so probably not happening. I might stretch like later tonight. I feel like I need a good stretch session. That'd be quite nice. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Right now I'm just needing to get dressed because this is just not gonna cut it. I need to go to the bank and if I go like this, they're gonna be like, who is that? Why? This is definitely like an in the house outfit. Quickly, I thought I would run you guys through my bookshelf because I did get a request to do a bookshelf tour. Um, I really wanna order more books, but I just have so much that I need to read that I haven't ordered more books, but like I have a cart full of new books on chapters that you know might have to happen. But basically I have a couple books up here. These two books, both of them, I really, couldn't get that into. I don't know, maybe it's just me, I have a problem, but yeah, I couldn't get that into them. I don't think I ever finished them, either of them. I didn't really enjoy them that much. This is my like romance section. I have more books in this, I just don't know where they are. Like I must have donated them or something because I've read way more romance books than it's just here, but this is what I have. We have the Simple Wild Collection, Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I wanna read more of Colleen Hoover's books, they're really good. Um, the Handing Game, I want to read more of Christina Lauren's books. They're two authors that write together because they're really good. Um, this one by Sophie Kinsella. This one was really cheesy, but it was okay. The After I Know, I never finished this. Do you want to know why? I got really annoyed with their relationship. <laughs> I was so into it. In the first book, I'm like, you know, we like a little bit of toxic relationship you know it's entertaining but then it was like they just kept making the same toxic mistakes over and over and I was like I just can't I just can't with your relationship like it was like if my friend was going through this I'd be like girl leave him <laughs> and it was just oh anyways beautiful disaster again another book I don't know if I finished this or not either sometimes the toxic relationships don't do it for me you know I love a good enemies to lovers or whatever but when it's like next level toxic I'm like I just I don't know. We have another Christine Lauren book here. Um, this book my boyfriend bought me, how cute, for like Christmas two years ago. Um, another book, I liked this one, Don't You Forget About Me by Mahari McFarlane. That was really good. And then We Met in December, I read around Christmas time and it was really good. Then we have some fantasy books. These are like, you know, the TikTok famous fantasy section, I feel like. From Blood and Ash, love, kind of slow, definitely more romance than fantasy. It's like romance with a touch of fantasy. I'm waiting for the third one to come right now in the mail. It just shipped, which I'm really excited about. The Cruel Prince series, I enjoyed as well. The first one was like meh, but it got better through the second and third book. You guys know how I feel about A Court of Thorns and Roses. I feel like these are so popular that people decide to hate on them, but like there's nothing wrong with liking popular things, okay? And I like popular things and these are good. I'm excited about them. A Court of Silver Flames that I read recently, amazing. Crescent City was like my favorite. That's the first Sarah J Mass book that I read and I cannot wait for more books in this series. I love that this is like a adult series more, like she targets it as adult instead of young adult. And I just loved it. This book literally made me cry. So I loved it. Then we have my Throne of Glass series. I'm on, what the heck is it called now? Why am I blanking? Whatever, I'm on this one, the one that's missing. <laughs> Queen of Shadows, that's what it is. I'm on Queen of Shadows. I'm gonna read the Assassin's Blade afterwards and then finish it. And then I've read all these books and I love them. I love the characters. This is definitely more fantasy, touch of romance. These romance with fantasy, 
these fantasy with romance, if you know what I mean. Like these are more action, more about Aelin's character, um, and more about like the the world and the that kind of stuff than with a little bit of romance in it. It's not like all romance, which I honestly enjoy. Like sometimes it's nice to have a break from just like a constant love session, you know? So that's nice. The Twilight Saga Midnight Sun. I didn't even really enjoy this that much, but it was okay. Then these are all thriller books back here and my belt bars, because y'all know I love those. I also just bought Chain of Gold, but I need some more books from the pre-series before I read this, so this one's just chilling here, you know? But these are all thriller books, because I went through a huge thriller book moment in my life, and I read so many. These are all good. The Chestnut Man is one I really recommend. That was an amazing one. The Woman in the Window, so good. Verity by Colleen Hoover, so good. The Silent Patient, so good. I should actually film another reel with like thriller book recommendations because they're so good. And I need to read more thrillers because I stopped and thrillers are my favorite. Well, one of my favorites. I'm on a big fantasy kick right now. <laughs> but yeah, that's like my little bookshelf tour to start off this vlog. We love books, we love books. <clears throat> Guys, here's my little OOTD called going to the bank. <laughs> I'm just wearing this cropped sweatshirt from Maritzia, Zara mom jeans, which this style is like my absolute favorite to wear. They're so comfortable and flattering and I love them and I just have a bunch of accessories on, like earrings, rings, my necklace that I wear every single day. Just a look. Casual vibes. All right, hi y'all. I went and dropped off my check, or deposited and drop it off. And I'm starving. I was going to like go and get food, but I don't know what is going on with the current situation we're in with these lockdowns. Like, I don't know if I can even go into a restaurant to, to order. Like, I don't know how that's working. <laughs> so I decided I would just drive home and then Uber eat something. It's just, what do I want? That is the question. I could get chicken shawarma. Do I want that? I don't know. Could get sushi. Far house sub sounds bomb. Oof, should I get that? Turkey bacon ranch sub. That sounds really freaking good. You know what? I'm just gonna get this up, I think. Yeah? No. I don't know. <laughs> this is like me trying to debate what to order. It's like always so hard. Like I never know what I want, you know? I'm like the most indecisive person and when it comes to food, it's like a whole nother level of indecisiveness. That happens to me. I'm just like, what do I want? I don't know. I don't know what I want. I'm lost and confused in the world. I ended up going with the sub and I'm so excited. I haven't had a firehouse sub since like the summer and they are so delicious. I also, you know, got a little mini bag of some vinegar because why not? But their subs are literally the best. Oh, oh my God. Yum. Like, look at this. Are you joking? Wow. Okay, I'm gonna eat this and love my life because delicious. <laughs> Thursday. I'm about to go downstairs and do a little home workout. I think I'm gonna follow a video. That's the vibe I'm feeling right now. I'm gonna follow like a Heather Robinson workout or something like that. Cause I honestly just don't feel like 
thinking of something myself. And then I desperately need to wash my hair. She greasy, she dirty, she in need of a wash. I also got some new products from Moroccan oil that I ordered from the Sephora VIB sale. So I'm excited to put those in my hair and see if they like, you know, help with the frizz situation that I have going on sometimes. But this is my workout outfit for today. I'm wearing this Gymshark seamless long sleeve top. Then my shorts are, it was from my last vlog. They're the Gymshark shorts. They're like the loose ones with the lining underneath them. Um, they are a bit big in my waist. I got an extra small, but I have, I'm very petite. Anyway, so they're a bit big in my waist, but they're fine, they're comfortable. We're gonna go do a lower body session, I think. I'm like debating between hit or lower body, but I think I wanna do like a really good leg day and she has this leg workout on there that I really wanna do. So I think that's what we're gonna do this morning. I finished Queen of Shadows last night. It's my favorite that I read so far in the series. Now I'm reading The Assassin's Blade because I probably should have read it before Queen of Shadows, but I didn't. So I was like, okay, let's just bust this one out this weekend, finish it. And then I'm gonna take a break from Throne of Glass because I ordered Shadow and Bone and it's gonna be on Netflix on April 23rd, which is my birthday. So I wanna read the book before the show comes on Netflix because I just won't be able to read the book once I watch the show, do you know what I mean? I've tried to do that, but like when you already know what's gonna happen, it ruins it, so. <laughs> I'm gonna try, hopefully, read the book before the 23rd so that I can watch the show and just be like, I read this book. I ordered a ton of books actually last night. When those come, I'll do a book haul for you all. Let's go work out. This is the workout that I'm gonna do. Leg day, strength and tone, extreme lean legs boot camp. It's 37 minutes long. Of course, it's gonna be a warm up and a cool down, so I'm assuming the workout will actually be like 30 minutes long. This is what I'm gonna do. Let's work out. I will link this exact workout in the description so if you guys want to do it, you totally can. I saw fluff in the air. <laughs> but yeah, let's bust out this leg day. Never know, talking like Geronimo, get dropped down like some dominoes. Blues and greens and pinks, I got a lot of those. Yeah, you know, talking slime, I can't relate to snakes, I see a lot of foes. Eeny, eeny, meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Head to toe, said you got your own style, that's just slang for you, ain't got it though. Talking like you got it, that's a problem, I might let them know. Feed you like I'm else or I look, 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 let it go. Eeny, eeny, meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Head to toe, said you got your own style, that's just slang for you, ain't got it though. Talking like you got it, that's a problem, I might let them know Feed you like a mouse or something, I look, 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 let it go Eeny, eeny, meeny, meeny, money more Ten toes, keep it thorough, stepping out for sure though Time to let them know, rubber band bands, I got a lot of dough Oh for sure, working around the clock, sometimes I need me more than 24 Eeny, eeny, meeny, meeny, money more Head to toe, said you got your own style, that's just slang for you ain't got it. All done that workout, it was really good, sweaty <laughs> I was definitely sweating, which is always good when you get a sweat in. I loved training in these shorts, okay? I loved it. They were so like movable. Like I feel like I could just do. And I never felt like it was like riding up where like a lot of my tight shorts I have to pull down all the time. Cause these ones rode up, right? But like the loose fabric covered it, <laughs> which was nice. So highly, highly recommend these shorts. They're still available on Gymshark now, I believe, but I'm just gonna have a protein bar. Y'all know the drill. What one do I want? Carrot cake with walnuts. Okay, I'm gonna have this one. And I'm gonna eat this really quickly and then shower. And we're gonna do our natural wavy hair routine with all my new products that I got. So I'm trying out different stuff now for my natural hair. I'm trying to leave my hair natural. I kind of want to do one of those like challenges where you leave your hair natural for like months, like the entire summer and just see how wavy and nice my hair can get if I don't put heat on it for like the whole summer. But I don't know, should I do that? I think that'd be cool just to see how like nice and nice my hair can get, you know? So we'll see, but right now, shower time. Hi, we are fresh out of the shower. Hair is obviously washed. It has no products in it right now and it's still pretty wet like dripping, but that's fine. 
<laughs> so the new products that I got are this hydrating styling cream which I'm excited to use because a lot of people really liked it. The reviews were really good. So I think I'm going to mix some of that with the Moroccan oil as like the hydrating part of my hair. And then I'm going to scrunch it up with my other product. So let's just pump out this much. And then I'm going to put some of the oil. I'm going to rub my hands together and we're just going to like smooth this through our hair. Instead of like scrunching it, I'm just gonna like run it through. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Never used these before, but my hair needs all the hydration that it can get. So I'm excited to try these out and see what it's like. Cause they had really good reviews on Sephora. Like a lot of people were like, oh, rat or dies, like really helped with the frizziness in my hair. And that's like my main thing when I leave my hair natural is that I don't want it to be frizzy. Like I want it to be wavy and not have frizz. <laughs> So trying to find good products is difficult, but we're getting there. And now we're gonna scrunch it a bit. So I went to my local drugstore and I picked up this because I've seen some good things about it. It's the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And it smells so good. Oh my God. But yeah, it's just like this. Obviously I haven't used it much, I've only used it once. <laughs> but I did like it. It's quite thick, so I don't use too much because Obviously my hair is wavy. I wouldn't say it's curly. It's definitely wavy. It was curly once upon a time <laughs> in my life when I was a child, but probably heat and dye and all that stuff ruined that. So I just put that much in my hands and then I'm just going to scrunch this through my hair and then I'll air dry it. Obviously you could diffuse it if you want to, but I just couldn't care less honestly. Like when my hair is wavy, I never diffuse it. I'm sure that does wonders, but <laughs> I'm just like, if I'm gonna blow dry my hair, I wanna like blow dry it, you know? So this will do. One side, and then this side. I have a lot of hair so I can get away with product because my hair is not really fine either. Like I have thick hair and a lot. So <laughs> I can kind of like apply a lot of product without it getting weighed down. But I know that if you have fine hair, obviously you probably would not want to use as much product. And now I'm just going to let that air dry. And hopefully I'll end up with some beautiful hydrated waves. I seriously need to go grocery shopping for lunch food. I have Uber Eats two days in a row now, okay? For lunch, that's not good for the good old bank account. But I ordered some freshie today. This is a teriyaki twist bowl. I ordered some teriyaki sauce on the side so in case there's enough. But you always got to shake it up, you know? Gotta do the little flipper room. I added chicken and spinach to this as well, just for like some extra greens in it, but it should be really good. Fresh is one of my favorites for a healthier takeout lunch option. Cause usually everything else isn't as healthy. So yeah, we're gonna eat this for lunch. I'll probably won't eat all of it. We'll see how hungry I am, but I can always have leftovers tomorrow, but yeah. If you haven't tried Freshie before, you need to. It's so freaking good. Just did a random grocery run <laughs> out of nowhere, literally just because we wanted snacks. So yeah, that's basically why we went to the grocery store. I got more stuff than just well, snacks. Well, we, so. we needed food in it. Yeah. But I got like three bags of chips. I even got freaking digestive cookies. Okay, that's how you know that I am was hungry. Why did I buy digestive cookies? <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll have them with my tea. And honestly, I will and probably love every second of it. Remember when Nana used to always have digestive oh, cookies yeah. at her house? And I'd be like, can I have cookies? And she would give them to me in the little tiny bowl. <laughs> it's memories, okay? <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna head back home now since I got my snacks. So now I'm set. Hey guys, I just want to come on here to end off today's video. I'm actually going to edit it right now before I go to bed. It's like 10.30. I wanted to read, but I had to get this done. So I'm going to edit it and put it up for you guys tomorrow. Well, when you're watching it today, but you know what I mean. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure that you're subscribed if you're new. And I will see you all in my next video.